Good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's end of trading session, 18th of October 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, market close, uh, European session certainly had uh, a, a bullish close. You had the FTSE closing around the 7,000 level. The German DAX up by 1.2% around the 10.630 level, helped uh, in part by the uh, weaker Euro, uh, okay, uh, along with the French CAC. Now, we have uh, we have Mr. Draghi, obviously, going into Mr. Draghi on Thursday, um, although the... Um, the overwhelming um, uh, decision or conclusion is the fact that uh, he basically will stand pat. Uh, basically, nothing uh, nothing new will really be discussed. And the the euro move really, or the weakness in the euro so far, especially by the euro dollar, is more of a dollar strength. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, front running the potential uh, rate hike and the hawkish rhetoric potentially uh, that's coming out. Some of the Fed in the individuals, okay. Now, again, that is actually helping uh, the European equities to a large extent. So it's going to be interesting. If Mr. Draghi obviously certainly is neutral or potentially hawkish, then that could certainly start to drive the Euro USD higher. Okay, and then obviously that you are looking at a risk aversion trade. Let's just bring up the Euro USD at present. Let's just give you an insight here because, again, this week really the German DAX is going to be very important in terms of the. Uh, the actual movement in the European markets and again that's going to be dictated by the euro dollar so let's just bring up the euro dollar let's just see if I can locate the euro dollar now just bear with me I've got that many variables ah oh, here we go okay so euro dollar now <clears throat> euro dollar at the moment on the daily chart is into support okay so bear that in mind so you certainly have support on the euro dollar at, at present so you are looking for a potential pop here uh, my bias certainly would be on the um, on the on the bullish side in the euro, as opposed to the uh, bearish side. Now there's a higher probability that you are looking at a potential short squeeze here. Okay, on the daily chart, no real or bullish engulfing kind of as of yet. Okay, uh, you do have a potential here now for a uh, double bottom scenario uh, as we speak. Okay, on the euro USD, although you do have the Deutsche Bank concerns in the background as well. 60 minute chart, you are now trying to build a base a base around this 109. 60 109 70 zone okay 1.0960 1.0970 so you are looking for a potential pop here okay but again euro uh, equity european equity is certainly being helped as long uh, along with the FTSE as well to a large extent with the weaker currency helping the export trade and hence the reason why you are seeing u.s markets lagging as well along with the s p the dow uh, and obviously the u.s election uncertainty there as well so just bear that in mind okay so european market certainly closed stellar today and that's due to china obviously rebounding overnight at 1.3 percent okay so certainly being helped and we had stronger earnings from netflix okay uh, and again netflix certainly surging helping the uh, u.s markets to a large extent economic data in the afternoon uh, u.s data inflation U.S. inflation certainly came in in line. Nothing, uh, nothing really untoward there. Okay, a red book index came in slightly better than expected. Uh, housing market index came in in line. Uh, GDT auction from New Zealand came in stronger, and that really is it. I mean, you have uh, the API data or oil data out later on. Again, that's going to be important. You do have the Aussie and Kiwi now potentially coming into resistance in the dollar potentially popping as well let's just bring up the chart the dollar index to show you i mean the next potential real resistance is going to be at 130.5 currently the dollar index um, is really trading sideways no real movement either way okay so again if you start to pop higher on the dollar then you are going to see further weakness on uh, u.s equities now the german dax towards the close you are you do certainly have a bearish pattern here folks so again looking at the german dax just, just per certainly be um, aware of this pattern okay so you have a hns formation your left shoulder is here head and then obviously right shoulder and then looking to potentially move lower now you have the on fill gap below uh, i've also demonstrated that the euro usd is certainly into support and looking to move higher when the euro moves higher then it certainly hurts european export exports and therefore you are looking for a reversal lower so certainly keep an eye on that German DAX. Okay, again you are into that horizontal resistance in the daily chart in the German DAX. 
so a higher probability of the market is moving lower folks okay 60 minute chart you're into that horizontal resistance topping tail r3 resistance is held and then you have two multiple uh, two uh, potential in uh, unfilled gaps below the german dax higher probability of the market is moving lower okay so my bias is certainly short at present certainly looking for lower equity prices okay I'm actually short the euro stocks as we speak. Okay, uh, French CAC. Let's just bring the French CAC. Give you an insight here on the French CAC. Okay, daily chart first and foremost. Bird's eye view. Again, you're into that horizontal resistance zone on the daily chart. 60 minutes. You are looking at the resistance again on the 60 minute chart. So you are looking at a potential topping out. And again, you have unfilled gaps below. So you have an unfilled gap here, and you have an unfilled gap below. So again, same type of pattern. You have the H&S formation potential reversal top pattern. Okay, so you're on the left shoulder here. Your head obviously goes in here. Your right shoulder, and obviously start to reverse. So certainly start to see some potential weakness in U.S. markets going into European markets the following day. Okay, so it's going to be interesting. Now the FTSE 100. I did explain to you. Uh, well, I certainly explained to subscribers during the day. I also put it up on Twitter as well that the FTSE certainly will be under pressure due to the stronger inflation numbers. So you are looking at potential uh, move lower on the FTSE 100. Now you have held the previous resistance zone, which is around the 6990. I do expect that to crack, and then obviously the gap fell at 6940 on the FTSE 100. So my bias certainly remains firmly bearish on the FTSE. Certainly looking. Certainly looking for a potentially move, um, um, potential move lower on the FTSE 100. So bear that in mind. A 60 minute chart at the moment of the FTSE, you've held FIB 75%. Okay, you have this bearish engulfing candle now, any consolidation. You're looking at a bear flag pattern and then obviously looking to retest the 6940 in the back of stronger inflation data again. You also have reports of a sort of a hard or strong Brexit with potential uh, immigration reforms and so on and so forth. So, again, uh, bias remains bearish from my perspective. Okay, certainly looking for a move lower on the FTSE 100. Also, we have oil as well. Let's just bring the chart of oil for you folks. Let's just give you an insight into oil. If I can find the actual chart again now, one second. I'll bring up the FTSE <coughs> oil and gas for you. 60 minute chart same type of pattern here you're making lower highs that's not a good sign okay folks bear that in mind so lower highs certainly isn't good so you are looking for a lower low now okay on the FTSE oil and gas sector let's bring up the price of oil see if i can locate this chart folks bear with me where are thou the price of oil ah here we go okay so price of oil there we go so daily chart of the price of oil, you certainly are struggling to uh, certainly push higher on crude. Okay, so certainly isn't a good sign. Uh, let's go to the four hour chart, give you a better insight here. And I have actually uh, shared this chart before. So you are you are looking at H&S formation. So uh, you have this bearish continuation pattern now on the four hour. So again, look for further potential downside. 60 minute chart, you're still making low highs and looking now for a lower low. Okay. last index we're looking at for today is going to be euro stocks now again this is the chart that i'm actually uh, bearish on and i'm actually have an active short position so again horizontal resistance on the uh, daily chart okay so you're back into that key resistance zone where we failed to really propel and break higher a uh, daily chart or 60 minute chart you clearly see your potential double top pattern now okay so again looking for a reversal and the 10 minute chart it clearly shows you a hns formation so Again, you have the unfilled gap below that certainly needs to be closed. You have this left shoulder there. You have the head that's been obviously organized here, right shoulder, then looking to potentially flush, potentially support on the downside 3020, and then obviously gap fill at 3010. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Be sure to visit cfts.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.